Greetings, this is NobleCale for NobleCale.com. I've got here a game called Spare Change and it's for the Apple 2GS um, and it's one I haven't actually seen for over a decade, maybe two. Um, and uh, basically it's a game that I played a lot during my childhood um, so I thought I would just do a quick video to show some of the gameplay aspects of it. Um, you'll notice that I don't do so well and I promise you I used to be a lot better um, but I'm gonna run through it just quickly um, this is level one so um, there's a few elements that are worth noticing this is just a demo I'm not actually playing at the moment you've got these two robot dudes running around and they steal these tokens um, and basically the player is trying to fill the repository and the robot dudes are trying to steal them and put them into the piggy bank um, and then once they reach a certain amount it's game over and when the player reaches fills the first bank of the repository um, he can progress to the next level so uh, with all of that in mind um, let's see how I do Okay, so I'm not doing too badly so far, nothing's stolen from me. Um, I'm going to intercept that. And you'll notice that all of the token banks are basically out. Uh, which means they're going to start really stealing from me quickly. Uh, tokens can be refilled from the cash register. Uh, a little bit of controller gaffs there. This should do it. Boom! One. Give me. Okay, and on we go. <sighs> so this is the first time I've seen level two in about twenty years. Oh, we're still on level one. Run, 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 run. Um, I'm going to see if I can actually progress by filling up the second reservoir instead. You'll notice that token bank is no longer valid. Um, so this has actually got me feeling a bit frantic. Even though they're not actually providing much of a um, competition at the moment. Like, they're stealing from me, but they're not putting into the piggy bank. Which is my primary concern. Okay, and now you see the cash register is out, so um, I'm going to actually have to refill that from another resource, which is that safe here. Can't quite remember. 
remember what the phone does. Oh, they actually got one. Um, but I think I'm doing pretty okay. Just another two more to go. And just get these controls. I just made. Steal that back. Alright. Hopefully this will trigger something else. Nope. Um, let's see if I can get the phone to work. Okay, so here we go, this is level 2. Um, so you can see the, the layout's got roughly the same components. Um, there's an extra phone. Still not entirely sure how that works. Um, also, these guys are going nuts. Um, it's going to be game over pretty quick, I think. quite a bit. It's a different tune too. I think it's a bit shorter too. I'm going to preemptively fill the cash register. on you all the time. Um, and it's interesting that they do this, it maintains this amount of pressure with just two enemies, two AI, is enough to sort of make you go, ah, um, really sort of feel it. But I'm already out of tokens in two banks. Alright, um, so that's game over. Gonna put in my put in my name, although I think it's only three letters. Boom. Uh so let's have a quick chat about that. Um that was a uh, spare change um for the Apple II GS and there were quite a few no uh different things at play there. There was the requirement. We'll just wait for the intro. Okay, I'm actually going to mute that. Uh, so there were quite a lot of elements in play here. Um, there's the necessity to fill up the bank, obviously. There's the necessity to um, prevent the piggy bank from being uh, filled. There's also the need to 
refill the token registers with cash and then refill the register with um, safe money um, and there's the delaying tactic by using the jukebox but again if you use that too much then you're consuming tokens from the token stand and once they're out they become very very poor as a strategy sorry as a strategic point um, overall this this is actually a really well designed game and it's really effective at um, that first level is actually incredibly challenging um, having not played it for a while it's hard to keep an eye on token levels the repository um, the cash register and make sure that the two dudes don't steal too much of your um, your tokens um, and so I find that it's a really really interesting little balance because there's all these different resources at play uh, it's interesting to see that the AI is only concerned with your end goal and um, I'm not sure whether that stands for the later levels I, I can remember a couple of levels when I was a kid and obviously this one that's being shown here has a popcorn machine which is ever so slightly different and I think that um, in one of them there's actually a press machine to make tokens or something like that um, but I might just be making things up unfortunately um, but either way so this was a simple arcade style game I'm not sure if it actually came out for any other platforms but that was spare change um, and this is Noble Kale for noblecale.com I'm gonna move on to the next game I'll see you later